And hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to do a handling tutorial on your vehicles to stop them from flipping over. Get them to handle just a little bit better. A little bit better is better than nothing because they flip like crazy. Okay. So what are we going to do is going to go to OpenIV. If you don't have that downloaded, there's going to be a link down below. You can go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you there to download it. Now, once you're in OpenIV or Open4, whichever one you prefer, go ahead and click on edit mode to turn it on. And once again, if you prefer edit mode to be on all the time, just come up here to tools, options, look for default work mode. Yours might say read only and change it to edit. That's all you got to do. Change it to edit. That way edit mode will stay on all the time. I don't like to have it on just in case you accidentally make a change that you didn't want to make before you're actually ready. And make sure in tools... You click on ASI manager, make sure everything is green. If anything is blue, go ahead and install it. That'll change it to green. Make sure all three of those are green. Give everyone a second to do that and get caught up. Okay. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click on mods update. update.rpf then you want common then you want data then you want to come over to the right and highlight handling dot meta right click on it go up to edit and click on edit now it'll open up the screen okay we're gonna make it just a little bit bigger okay now go ahead and open up your search engine and you're gonna type in if the police the specific vehicle that you want to change the handling of is police police two police three sheriff just type it in up there at the top so we're gonna go police and as you can see right here it brought us right to our vehicle okay now what you want to do from there is look for VEC center of mass offset VEC VEC center of mass offset and you should see X Y and Z you're back and forth, left to right, and up and down. Okay, we're going to go over to Z. And what we're going to do is change that 0, 0.0 to minus 0 0.3. Make sure you stay inside the parentheses stay inside the parentheses okay so we want minus 0 0.3 so go ahead and hit your minus there come back on the other side of the decimal minus 0 0.3 and you can just test that out once you get inside and play around with handling your vehicles if it's still not stable enough if you want to keep it on the ground a little bit more you can adjust that number change it to four change it to five that way it'll read negative 0 0.4 negative 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.6 how how bad you want it to stay on the ground okay and all of these numbers like I say handle how it turns how it flips how much up and down it has left to right backwards and forwards okay so negative 0 0.3 is is 
now I wouldn't say a sweet spot, but it, it's close, really co close to keeping it on the ground. It, it does a good job. Okay, once you get that one changed, just come down. And we're going to go ahead and do police two. And again, you want to look for VEC VC center of mass offset, VEC center of mass offset. Your X, Y, and Z, go over to your Z, stay inside the parentheses, add your minus, go back on the other side of the decimal, change that first zero to three. And that's really all there is to it. Any of the other vehicles that you're driving, as long as you know the name of those vehicles, you can go ahead and make those changes. As long as you know, as long as you know the name of those vehicles, you can go ahead and make those changes. Now you can either click save down here at the bottom or click X. It'll ask you if you want to save, just click yes. And all your changes will be saved. Okay. And all you got to do is close edit mode, close out of it and you are done. Thanks for joining. Please hit like and subscribe and be sure to catch all those fantastic Grand Theft Auto third watch videos. Have a good one, everybody.